with, with your charitable giving dollars. And to make it as easy as possible, one of the things that our donors really like is when they make a donation, whether they've set up a fund, they make, it, they make the donation, a lot of times we, they get the benefit of that, that appreciated stock gift, um, and they make a donation to their fund, they make one donation. And that's for their taxes, that they've made that one donation. And then throughout the year, or years, they can say, they can just call us up and say, all right, now I'm, we're looking at supporting organization A or organization B. They, can, they let us know, we, we handle it, we, we do the due diligence, we make sure, hey, are they in good standing? Is there anything that they, the donor may need to know about this organization? Um, we're gonna follow up and get an evaluation and they're gonna hear, hey, here's how they, here's how they use the, the funds that I gave them. They did follow through, that's awesome. As, a, as an individual donor, you don't necessarily get to say, okay, and then fill out this form and let, <laughs> you know, and let me know how it went. Um, so there, there are advantages there just in, in the ease and the confidence that, that the dollars are going to be used well. And who are some of the primary funding interests in your area? Wow, you know, there are, as far as organizations that are funded, I, I, as, there are just hundreds. And the nice thing about a donor advised fund, we have organizations in Bering County and the, the vast majority of our funds stay in Bering County and that's what we want. Donors also have that flexibility. If they're living part of the year in one place and part of the year in the other, they can fund other things. So um, as far as what is the a couple main charities, we, you know, it's so vast and so broad that um, there, there really isn't there, there really isn't just, hey, we support this. We have different programs through mm -hmm. our grant making programs. Um, the general fund grant making programs are all, those dollars stay in Berrien County. And is, is there a funding area that you focus on for that? Or, uh, you know, because let's face it, resources are limited. Oh, so absolutely. you gotta be pretty strategic. So ha have you made a decision as a board uh, in terms of what your your priorities are yes yeah uh, we've we've broken it down into uh, team we have to talk about team <laughs> teens exhibiting able minds and they focus on programs for uh, youth not little kids and then we have uh, we have nurturing our children which are programs that really look at at young children. We have building the spirit of community um, and we have lifelong learning, which, and building, this, build, building the spirit of community also looks at arts and culture. So the, the, it's, it's broad, the, the, the spectrum is broad, but we have taken some of those, those areas and so that, that we can focus those dollars and say, hey, you, you've got to say, you gotta say no to something and it, it's hard, but you do have to say no to something. And then each year, so our grant committees meet, they get these applications, they, they, make the, they make these tough decisions. And sometimes those committee meetings, they just, oh, how do we, this, everybody's doing such wonderful work, how do we make those decisions? It's, it's very hard, they struggle and they're, we're just awesome volunteers because they take that job of reading that grant application and going through the financials and they take it very seriously and yep, they do a great seriously. job and they make those decisions and then we come back and we're in the process of doing that this right now after uh, they've made those grants the some of the organizations will report back to us and then those committees get back together and they award what we call our golden acorn awards and it's they we then honor a, an organization within each of our categories that has just done a fabulous job, and uh, we we give them we give them award and then a small a uh, thousand dollar grant to help boost their program a little bit more. Now, now you know I'm good friends with Brian, Brian Saxton, who mm -hmm. is the uh, president of the Boys and Girls Club up in Benton Harbor. And you know, truthfully, isn't he a really tough guy to, to deal with? I mean, come I on, <laughs> you know. I mean, I mean. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing to me? Here, no, Brian is awesome. 
I had to do that <laughs> because uh, because I know he's going to look at this show. Okay. He's going to go, "What'd you say that about me for?" You know. So, right. Uh, yeah. Okay. You're a really nice guy, Brian. <laughs> there. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so they told me which camera is mine. <laughs> <laughs> no, he is a he is a phenomenal guy, and yeah, I know he's he's grown that uh, program by leaps and bounds up there. Um, so uh, he's a he's a great friend and, mm -hmm. a, and a great person, and you know there's a lot of great people up there, uh, and you know I, I belong to Rotary Club. The Rotary Clubs do great things up there. I know we work with the Community Foundation mm -hmm. because um, you give us money to then buy food for food banks, which then we help distribute. At least you have in the past, mm -hmm. and um, it's a great program. I mean, a lot, right. especially with the downturn, it was badly, badly needed. So I know you do a lot of different things in the community there, and um, I, I'm curious, what for you? Now you've been in the foundation world uh, quite a while now, mm -hmm. right? What, ten over 10 years? Yes. Um, this is actually could, my second turn at the Marion Community Foundation because I, I came here, person. I was the, yeah. the program manager yeah. and um, left, had a family, worked at the Upton Foundation and then came got to come back. So yeah, I've been doing this a while. So, you know, okay, you get to give out the money, let's face it, that's, that's kind of fun. But oh, yeah. <laughs> what, what in your mind, do you have one or two things that you that stick out in your mind where you could say, wow, I am so glad we funded that program. I mean, maybe those, oh those aha moments mm -hmm. that you can share with us because you know, that's, that's the impact, right? That's, yeah. that's what we're here for. Yeah, there, I, I have, There's probably a lot I have a hundred of, them, of sure, those. Yeah. Um, there are, and, and some of them I, that, that I'm, I guess I'm thinking of right now, and some of them were our, our Golden Acorn Award recipients last year where, um, and, and I, I think of the Calling All Colors program where we bring, uh, it's, it's a program that, that brings students from, a, from Benton Harbor, which is a predominantly African American school, together with uh, students from St. Joe or Lakeshore or other, other um, communities that, that then they get together and they just realize they, as little kids, they, they realize we're just the same and it, oh, it's just our skin color. And at, at our Golden Acorn Award ceremony last year, one of the directors, uh, Sandy Feldman, said, it told a story about a little boy who went and, and he was very, they were nervous. The kids were kind of nervous coming in. Well, what is this like? What are you like? I don't know you. And when they said, what was the most surprising thing to you? And all of them, the kids said, well, that I, I was so surprised that they liked me. He, he liked me, he was, that he was fun, that we were, and, and they had that, as little kids, they had that aha mm -hmm. moment of, well, you know, you're just, like you're just a kid too. <laughs> and then they get together right. at the end and they have a family picnic and the families meet and, yeah, and it's wonderful. just a great growing experience for those kids. That's really building social mm -hmm. capital at a very absolutely, young age. Absolutely, yeah. absolutely, that I, I'm not afraid of you either on either side and and you liked me that that was powerful to me are you here uh you talk about the horse programs the therapeutic equestrian mm -hmm. center made a grant to them and they work with uh, kids who are developmentally disabled and or i said kids but they really work with little to 99 i mean they they work with everyone on the spectrum and um They'll talk about, uh, one woman talked about her daughter who uh, had physical difficulty just holding herself up and, and learning to walk and learning. And it's the gait of the horse and it's the how you hold yourself on the horse and how you work. And they work with these kids and then here she is walking and she's able to hold herself on, the, on a horse. And mom is just mm -hmm. crying and you think, oh my goodness, this is, this is life changing. Mm -hmm. So I think of those kinds of programs that are just, and there are tons of them. The Boys and Girls Club is one. There, there are just so many programs and good people making, s making sacrifices, making a difference, working as hard as they can to benefit others and to be able to be a part of that is just, 
is just an honor. Pretty moving, huh? Absolutely. <laughs> and see, this is what we're kind of looking for, too, um, are some of the stories that come from these organizations that we can get out there so other people can see what is really going on behind the doors of these places and would want them to donate time if they have the re monetary oh, yeah. fine, you know, resources to do that. So, I mean, this is what sharing fire to us is all about. A lot of people just don't know oh. what goes on with the community and the community foundations and, you know, how they're set up and how many people they help. And so we've got to get those stories out there. There are just so many generous people in our community that uh, of of time of talent of treasury there are our our community is is so blessed with the number of people who who care and when they when they hear those stories or they mm -hmm. hear oh wait it's how do i help it's that easy i can do i can do that they right. they come running we've we've got a great community we really really do that's why you've got to get the word out about all the good things that are happening. So this is a start. So um, congratulations. Thank you. On your new position. Uh, now that you're running not just one organization, but two. <laughs> and you know, I also know you have a fairly small staff. You're not a cast of thousands there. What do you Oh, like we are, we are small people? but mighty. Uh, it's, who are the um, other two that work there? We have, uh, Sandy Tardy is our finance uh, manager. And then we have Adrian Glisson who is, and she is Sandy is full-time, Adrian is part-time, and she is uh, the finance program assistant. She runs our team, also works with our team program. Our, it's Teens Exhibiting Able Minds, 20 kids, I say kids, teens, sorry, <laughs> from all over Berrien County. And one of the thing that's, things that's really neat, can I talk about that? Can, do I get to talk? Well, we okay. can, but we're running out of oh, time. Oh, no. Yeah, that's okay. Well, you'll have to come back, too. You'll okay. have to come back. We'll have to do another show. See? This was fun, right? It was. That, that, it, I was nervous. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're really glad you're here. Absolutely. And uh, this is Mark Hardy saying goodbye from Sharing Fire. Uh, we'll be back to see you soon. And we'll have Lisa Cripps Downey back. Absolutely. That'd be fun. Okay. Yeah, this was, we'll do it. This is fun. All right. Thank <laughs> bye -bye you. Bye-bye now. Take care.